It is now my honor to introduce the chairman of the board for Friends of the National World War II Memorial, Mr. Josiah Bunting III. There are probably members of the audience old enough to remember their grandparents referring to Memorial Day as Decoration Day. Anybody remember that? Decoration Day, which was established uh, in 1868, shortly after the Civil War, and went by that name uh, until the end of World War II now Memorial Day, in which we honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in behalf of our country this Memorial Day. And it's appropriate that we are almost at the midpoint between two monuments to American presidents, the first of whom is the founder of our country, and the second, behind where I am standing, the preserver of our country and its liberties. And when I think of President Washington, and I can't resist saying this because we have guests here today who are from France, the Marquis de Lafayette helped save this country. And many of our soldiers, sailors, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, went to France in 1917 and then again in 1944 to fight alongside the French. And many of them, to quote an English poet talking about his country, made a piece of France forever American. General John Pershing, when he arrived in France with the American Expeditionary Force in 1917, said, Lafayette, voici. Lafayette, we are here. We have French representatives here from whom we will hear shortly. And our debt to France, as to our own sons and daughters who made the ultimate sacrifice, is profound. The largest number of Americans to be buried anywhere outside the borders of our own country are buried in France. And I urge all of you, if you are in Europe, to visit uh, those graves and pay your respects. Lafayette, voici. It's a pleasure and an honor to greet all of you on this most solemn day. And let us leave these ceremonies, not only with a profound memory, but with an even more profound determination to embody in our own lives and patriotism the spirit and the sacrifice of those we honor. Thank you. Body. France is partly occupied. Out of love for his country, France, my great grandfather, who was a railroad man, becomes a resistant fighter. 